So just here we found medieval roof tile and even though the Abbey's all the way over there, over there is just where I wonder where we are. So here we are at the Riverway. Sorry for how loud it is. Yeah, um, so here we are at the Riverway. And over there is Waverley Abbey and Waverley Abbey House. And the Riverway here sources in Alton. There's some mini pads in there. Yes, very loud and gushing. There's Waverley Abbey. It's more like a monastery. I think that's good enough to look at for today. <laughs> but yes, once again with this abbey, um, yeah, quite similar to other abbey stories. So that means that in the early 1500s, Henry VIII knocked it down because obviously the Pope at the time, Roman Catholics, people aren't allowed to divorce. Different gate. Look at that bridge. Okay. For your safety, please take care of, as historic sites can be hazardous, children should be carefully supervised. Please refrain from the following activities. Climbing, camping, lighting fire trees, use of barbecues, playing ball games, playing loud music, fishing without a permit, litter. Dad, you'll want to see the social distance sign. So it's younger than that and quite cute, but it's like grown over ruins and it's 800 years old so it would have been like a little sapling when the abbey was first built. Yeah, look at these ruins. And also, don't forget, there's many more. It's also want to look for any like hand markings or anything. Yeah. And one of the bits I will find interesting is this you here. Obviously it's about two thousand and two hundred years younger than Yan Kwaiq. But but it's when you look at the roots. But it's when you look at the roots, like, look at that. Like this trunk, not as wide as the anchorite one. Actually, it does look as wide, but still, like, this is so cool. Like, it's grown over the top of the Abbey ruins. Yeah, like, don't you think that's cool? This ancient yew tree growing over the top of Abbey ruins. When this was first built, this would have been a little sapling where, where all the builders of the Abbey would be like, ah, let's just leave it. And then this is what happens when you leave it. Okay, here's the Abbey Church. 
So we are here. So this color is standing walls, and that's assumed walls. So I believe that little brown circle there is the yew tree. And all of these would have been the chapels. And especially this yew tree. I mean, like, that is so cool. Now, let's go and see this bit. Like, look, you can see here where there would have been a pillar, but just look at, like, the network of these roots. Like, say, take the inside of the Anchorite queue, featured on another video, but then turn it into roots. That would be a great tree for climbing, but I'm afraid it's 800 years old and we want to protect it by not climbing on it. Yeah, let's have a look this part. So here's an archway. I'm not sure if that's just like a hole in the wall from when it was like damaged or if that was supposed to be like an archway. Yeah. And from here, you can see the yew growing over the walls. This bit's next. Look at the brickwork here. Those holes up there, I can see five of them. Yeah, um, that's where they would have had the oak beams, I've said this on lots of my other videos, but in case if you're new to the channel, that's where they'd have oak beams to place the uh, planks for next floor. And speaking of if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. It's also amazing to just see these plants that grow on, on the side of historical places. This tells you that anything can live anywhere. Where I am walking now would be where hundreds of monks walked hundreds of years ago. So here we are. I think this is the tallest of the ruins. Oh, that yew tree is amazing. Yeah, here. I think there must have been a fire here. When you look here, you can see where a column would have been. But yeah, it is amazing, this place. Must have been a fire here or some sort. And a fire here. Ooh, what does this say? South Transept, you stand in one of the two great cross arms of the 13th century Abbey Church. It is among the last parts of the building to be completed. In this wall are remains of three tall lancet windows, their lower stages built solid to allow the cloister roof outside. Okay. Yeah, it says that this place is an abbey. It's really not an abbey. It's more like a monastery. Yeah. Come down into this part. The ease ruins here, which will show last. Yeah, the south transept. 
if you pause the video on when we were looking at the um map over there by the U where it was saying about where all the walls used to be you would see where the south transept is um, so when Henry VIII knocked down this abbey this is one of the parts of the remaining floor yeah there's a couple of these parts so here, there, here yeah and I think we should go there next see this part and I think this must have been like the Croiser of some sort I'm not quite sure yeah, let's go and read a sign first so we know what we're looking at. Monk's Refectory. Pause the video to read this sign. This is the end south wall of Monk's Rectory, the room where they ate. Its large rectangular shape is picked out in mown grass behind you. Sticking along the side walls are the generations of monks who would have eaten meals of vegetables, beans and breads washed down with beer. Okay, so, rectangle shape. Ah, oh, yes, I see it. Monk's Dormitory. Pause the video to read the sign. Look at the where the windows would have been. This must have been stained glass. About ten foot up. Oh uh, yeah. 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 Here must have been the windows. And Fram Dad Ramble's coming up too. You coming up, Ramble? You have to go up on your two feet, that's it. That's it. Good boy. Hey. Now, my favourite bit, the undercroft. Oh, here, just look at the pillars. It's amazing what artwork they can do. The 11th century quick panorama. End of panorama. And in, in here, it's kind of like a hexagonal shape. No, actually more of an octagon. Okay, watermark 1968. So that's the level that the water came up to, because we are on a floodplain. Flood plain. Is there any more? Is that the only one? What about, did it not flood in the 12th century?
Yeah. And I think this might have been on purpose because if there's windows up there, I think there was a second story above this. And I'm guessing this was a fire. Yeah, definitely a fire. They just look at the pillars here. Like 11th century architecture. Yeah, that is so cool. And just look at the view of the house from here. Yeah. So here, where it's pink, you can see where it was the first Stone Abbey before 1150, which I believe is... If the use there... I think the first Stone Abbey is right there. Yeah, if we're there, it's right there. Because, Mum, yeah. like, everything here in the UK, like, barely ever harms you. Yeah, everything in, like, Australia can kill you. Do you know what I'm saying? So what are you doing with the molehill? Tell me. So, what we're doing is, we're digging open the molehills because, especially in places like this, but really want to do it everywhere. So not only does it get rid of the molehills, but also, when moles are digging in historical sites like this, what's buried underneath the ground? It's like, say, the moles are doing all the digging for you, all you need to do is just kick open the molehills and see what's inside. Look in here, possibly a bit of roof tile or something. Cool. You can even find things like coins. So, these are medieval tiles. They're found all along the walls. But how I can tell that these are medieval ones is when you look at the colour of it. So on the sides and the top and bottom, you can see it looks like a normal tile. But in the middle, still got that original kind of like clay colour because of how they've been fired. Obviously, they don't have like an x ray to see like if it's like if it's like dried enough. So just here we found medieval roof tile and even though the abbey's all the way over there, over there is just where you can see the ruins because really it comes out to where those cows are. We know this is a medieval roof tile, not a Roman one, because it doesn't have a circle and also because it still keeps that, like, clay colour on the inside.